Hi, welcome back to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Maritime law differs greatly from land-based laws, especially in the area of personal injury. Different types of compensation are available to injured people based upon their status as workers or passengers. State law also loves injured people and families who have lost a loved one. To seek compensation from workers' compensation and with wrongful death claims. The Blue Stain Law Firm PA represents people in maritime accidents and injury cases. Maritime injury attorneys as called Blue Stain is devoted exclusively to the practice of admiralty and maritime law. For skillful through an experienced legal help, contact the Blue Stain Law Firm PA in Carleston, South Carolina to schedule a very initial consultation by calling toll free. In South Carolina and throughout the United States, damages are available in maritime personal injury cases. There are three categories of people who may suffer an injury at sea or on navigable waters. Seamen, are the maritime workers and passengers. Seamen are entitled to bring job-related offshore injury claims under general maritime law and under the Jones Act for Maritime Accidents. General maritime law provides for a seaman to receive maintenance and cure, regardless of who was at fault. Maintenance is the cost of the seaman's room and port while living ashore. Cure is payment of medical expenses until a doctor indicates future medical treatment will no longer be curative. Under the Jones Act, if an employer's negligence um, or a defect in the employer's equipment is the cause of injury in whole or in part, the seaman can recover for medical care not paid as cure, loss of income not paid as unearned wages, out-of-pocket expenses, past, present, and future pain and suffering, disfigurement, emotional distress, loss of enjoyment of life, future medical expenses, and future loss of earnings. These same damages can be obtained in an unseaworthiness claim. Other maritime workers include longshoremen, harbor workers, harbor pilots, marina employees, defense contractors working on military naval bases, courts, firemen, electricians, and etc. Under the Longshore Act, these workers can access more benefits than workers' compensation. Like workers' compensation, the worker does not have to pre fault in a maritime accident. Workers are entitled to receive lifetime medical care for their injuries, including treatment that makes pain more tolerable. They can receive millage reimbursement to and from medical treatment and, in some cases, can be reimbursed for attorney's fees. Unlike workers' company, the Longshore Act allows employees to sue their employer if negligence of a vessel's owner, operator, or crew caused injuries or death. The worker can sue for medical expenses, lost wages, and loss of earning potential, pain and suffering, emotional distress, disfigurement, out-of-pocket expenses, and punitive damages. Passengers injured on recreational boats, including fishing boats, cruise ships, pleasure boats, and jet skis can bring a personal injury lawsuit for the following kinds of damages. Past and future medical expenses, lost wages, including future loss of wages for ongoing disability and future loss of earning capacity. Pain and suffering and loss of enjoyment of life, emotional distress and mental anguish. A person can recover damages even if there is no physical contact. 
so long as plaintiff witnesses peril or harm to another and is also threatened with physical harm, disfigurement due to scaring or loss of a limb. Cause for the loss of services the injured person previously provided to his or her family and loss of consortium, love, commonationship, punitive damages if the accident was caused by in the national or reckless disregard for others. The Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act is a federal workers' compensation act that provides workers' compensation benefits for longshoremen, harbor workers, crane operators, bridge builders, dock workers, fossil repair yard workers, and other people who work in marinas, ports, container terminals, port yards, and shipyards. The Special Workers' Compensation Act for marine workers often provides greater benefits than the South Carolina Workers' Compensation Act. For example, an injured worker under the Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act is entitled to lifetime medical care and can choose his treating doctor. The Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act also has a higher compensation rate than state workers' compensation. Compensation rate is the amount of money an injured worker receives during the time they are not able to work or for any permanent disability. When someone is injured and cannot work, it is a trying time for the injured person and his or her family. The higher compensation rate helps injured workers and their families. The Defense Best Act is a similar and applies to workers' injury on military bases in the United States or throughout the world. In the U.S. maritime workers who are not seamen, longshoremen, harbor workers, firemen, security guards, electricians, ship repair workers, dock workers, and other who work in ports and shipyards are covered by the Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act. It provides an enhanced form of workers' compensation for these workers when they are injured. A separate but similar statute, the Defense Pass Act uh, covers the same kinds of civilian workers on military bases in the U.S. and overseas in Iraq, Dubai, Kuwait, Afghanistan, and other places where the U.S. has a naval presence. The Defense Pass Act gives defense contractors injured on military bases the same rights and compensation that workers get under the Longshore Act. Also, the Defense Base Act was written specifically to ensure that defense contractors and people working on U.S. military bases get compensation for injuries. These workers sometimes have trouble getting the medical care and compensation they need after they are hurt. The worker comes back to the U.S. and tries to get medical treatment, and his or her defense contractor employer doesn't want to pay. The worker tries to apply for state workers' compensation and gets turned down. Our goal at the Blue Stain Law Firm PA is to help you get the medical care and money you need while you are hurt and cannot work. Maritime Injury Attorney as Scott Blue Stain focuses exclusively on admiralty and maritime law and has helped hundreds of injured maritime workers in the past 15 years. He is prepared to get the results in your defense passenger case. Contact our Carlston Law Office today for prompt, professional, and responsive legal help after a maritime accident. 
Contact our South Carolina Law Office online for a free consultation and case evaluation with a lawyer. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.